Hey YouTube, how's it going? Ed here with my very first fragrance review and it's going to be on um, Serge Lutin's Le Foie. Um, I'm actually on the Serge Lutin mailing list and they sent me a couple of samples direct from Paris just after the initial launch of the fragrance. Um, it came very safely packaged in this sturdy little box and going by the, the postmark on there it was um, it arrived the day after it was sent, so um, I'm quite chuffed with the fact that they sent me an item that was, well, two items that were really well packaged and that arrived really quickly and I didn't have to pay for it, so that was that was pretty cool. Um, now, before I get into what the fragrance actually smells like, uh, I just want to briefly talk about where this fits into the current Sergitan family. Um, this right here is a completely different fragrance to the rest of its brethren. It's, it's light, it's safe, it's clean, it's a little linear, it's a bit minimalistic, and it's uncomplex. This is basically the anti sergetan sergetan However, that doesn't necessarily make it the black sheep of the family, but I do get the feeling that a lot of the, um, the sergetan fanboys and fangirls out there are gonna, they're gonna pretty much hate this. But having said that, I think it's always important when reviewing um, a new fragrance, especially from a house that's established or that has a certain kind of reputation attached to it, that you should take the fragrance um, on its own merit and try and do your best to, to not compare it to the rest of the range. But anyway, regardless, what does this actually smell like? Well, right off the bat, I get a nice lemon and ginger combo. Uh, the lemon's not too tart, the ginger's not too sharp, and um, the, the ginger gives it a very slightly spicy element to the citrus. It does feel um, a little bit generic and also I get the tiniest tint of, uh, of mint in the background as well, um, which sort of helps to give the fragrance a slight cooling element, um, which kind of ties in with the, with the name because uh, Lafoy is, um, French pronunciation is terrible, but it is French for um, cold water and that's the kind of um, the idea behind the, this whole fragrance is supposed, supposed to be cool and crisp and, uh, like I said, the sort of anti sergetan sergetan but anyway, um, I digress. Um, the lemon then starts to become a little more subtle, taking on a, a bit of a fleeting feeling before the ginger starts to feel a little more prominent, but not in an overpowering in-your-face kind of way. Um, I also feel like there's a little bit of pepper thrown in as well at the top, just to boost that ginger a little and keep things a little spicy without becoming too spicy. Um, and again, the, the barely there mint ties in and helps keep um, the, the top of the fragrance cool. Then transitioning into the mid, and here we get the, the frankincense, the incense, which is the star of the show. And this is when the scent sort of transforms into a very cooling, crisp, metallic, um, ozonic fragrance and I get a real androgynous vibe from it as well um, at this moment. Also the, the incense has, it feels mm, a little bit generic, it feels safe and it also has um, a slightly mm, aquatic quality to it as well which I think, I mean this part of the fragrance is going to be a big turn off for the Serge Time that was out there and um, yeah, this the mid is is the bulk. It's this kind of the meat and potatoes of the fragrance. And um, after that, as the scent kind of nears towards its base, um, the incense slowly, slowly starts to fade away, and I'm left with a feeling of, of soft musks, which take over as the fragrance kind of burns itself out. And I get a, a tiny bit of sweetness at the end too. Um, being a, a eau de parfum, it does last pretty well. I mean, longevity on this is good. I'm, I guess before I, I get into talking about longevity, projection, and sillage, I should mention that I think this is a strictly summer only scent. Um, it is it is cool, it is crisp, it is, is refreshing, it is borderline um, sport fragrance. I mean I hope this is the closest Sergitan ever 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 come to making uh, a sport or an extreme um, fragrance because you know Lord knows the world needs another one of those but um, I for me this is strictly a, a summer scent only I think um, it makes a nice alternative to your kind of uh, sort of typical summer fragrances that people tend to use your citruses and your aquatics because this is quite um, 
cooling and uh, metallic and um, when you're out and it's kind of high heat um, you do get the feeling of being enveloped in this kind of nice cooling sort of a bubble which is um, it's it produces um, a good effect um, I hmm, I kind of feel like this is fairly versatile age range for this would be 25 plus because I do feel that it is quite a mature smell and um, people under the age of 25 unless they have quite a sophisticated nose palette might not get it really um, longevity on this on a hot day I get about eight hours plus which is good um, Siage on this is nice it's not brilliant um, Siage is most prominent for I'd say the first four to five hours of the fragrance then it starts to wear a little closer to the body um, this 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 is I'd say that this is definitely a unisex scent um, with a, a very interesting um, androgynous vibe to it as well and the concept of androgyny has it's always fascinated me and um, this is the concept of androgyny in fragrance in particular is something that I'm gonna talk about but that's a video for another day but um, yes yeah, so it's unisex it's androgynous it's uh, it's a nice summer scent um, ratings so ratings um, projection I'm gonna give this a C plus longevity a C plus sillage C plus and the overall smell a B minus um, I don't actually mind this fragrance um, this is I kind of see this as your gateway drug to the world of niche fragrances if you're just dipping your toes into the niche pool and you want a safe introduction you'd be hard-pressed to do better than this it is completely out of line with the rest of the your kind of typical surgery time fragrances but that's not necessarily a bad thing and overall I think it, it's an okay scent it's nothing special it's nothing amazing but at the same time it's not overly disappointing and it's not a bad fragrance per se it's very this is going to be their, their money maker I mean um, right now you know kind of global economy is pretty much screwed and you know fragrances especially niche fragrances are luxury products and companies uh, houses designers are, are going to want to continue to make money especially in these difficult financial times so this has a definite role um, to play um, I kind of get the feeling that, that they hope that after having this safe introduction and um, the customer will be um, interested in the rest of the line and want to kind of purchase another fragrance perhaps something a bit more uh, expensive um, like a, a shogi or something for example but um, yeah it's it's not that bad um, anyway that was my first fragrance review um, I hope it was alright <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah cheers for watching guys and take care